Today, I wanted to talk about a very common trading strategy, the gap up momentum trading strategy. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to code your own gap up trading strategy and some actual back test and statistics in terms of win rates with gap ups. I know gaps may sound too simple and maybe, you know, you think that there's no profitable edge that you can find in it, but I think you'd be surprised. And with the test that I'm going to show you, there's a lot of simple strategy ideas that you can use with gap ups. So what is a gap up and gap? Usually between trading sessions or major impact news events, you can see the gaps of a price of an asset. A gap is calculated by comparing the current open price with the last close price. A gap up would be if the open price is higher than the last close price, and a gap down would be is if the open price is lower than the last close price. Gaps can occur very commonly with trading sessions. For example, let's take the US equities cash session, which is from 9.30 a.m. Eastern to 4 p.m. Eastern. Usually on open at 9.30, there is a massive gap between the last close of 4 p.m. the previous day. And that's because obviously a lot of time has passed. There's a lot of new information that is being digested in the market. And of course, there's extended hours trading. So people are trading after 4 p.m. and before 9.30 and thus causing those massive gaps to happen. The other common occurrence with gaps is usually during major new events during the session, such as the Federal Reserve speaking or unfortunate catastrophic events. So can gap up strategies be profitable? You know, they sound too simple. They sound too good to be true. Why would a simple strategy make money? The answer is yes, they can be profitable. I ran some tests on the last 10 years with four different assets, the S&P 500 futures, the NASDAQ futures, gold and oil. And I compared the gap ups and the win rate in terms of if there was a gap up and you bought and hold, would you have been profitable? So I ran those stats for the last 10 years. Let's take a look at them. Okay, so the first one I ran, the S&P 500 futures, or the symbol is ES from 2010 to 2022, it had a win rate of 52.7%. The next one I ran was the NASDAQ 100 futures, or NQ, and it had a 55.48% win rate. Then we have gold futures, which had a 51.6% win rate, and lastly, oil futures, which had a 53.8% win rate. So you can see in every scenario, there is a small edge in terms of win rate when buying and holding for that same day. So NASDAQ came out on top with a 55% win rate. Obviously you could increase the win rate with a profit target. Of course it would reduce your net profit, but lock in your gains and a major warning. This is without a stop loss. So uh, you could have some crazy intraday drawdowns without a stop loss. Definitely you would want to recommend looking at adding a stop loss to a gap up strategy. But with those stats and showing you the past 10 years, it's a really good indicator that these strategies can be profitable. You just have to apply some risk management on top of it. Okay, so how would you code a gap up strategy? What you're seeing here on the screen is C Sharp and in NinjaTrader. And basically to code it, you would check the current open price. So I'm saying if open at zero is greater than the previous close, close at one. Okay, and then we would enter long you would do this in the on bar update function and basically check for gaps and um, have your nice entry logic there. Now you would have to be careful. Obviously if you had this code on a minute basis um, or a second basis, you'd get a lot of trades and probably a lot of bad trades. These types of strategies you, you would want to run longer time frame, you know, on daily bars or, you know, one or two hour bars because there's going to be a lot of signal noise um, throughout the day. Now the code here below it, um, I actually count the gap ups. That's how I got the stats for those win rates. Basically I checked if there was a gap up um, and if there was, I, I did a total counter, I increased it by one. And then if the current close is greater than the current open, then I increased the profitable gap ups and then else uh, I increased the profitable or sorry, gap ups that were losers. And that way I was able to be able to calculate the win rate. Now for my Python coders out there, I wanted to help you guys out as well. So in this code, what you're seeing here, this is the Interactive Brokers TWS API. And this is an example on how you would calculate a gap up. You can see the code is very, very similar. The major differences is that in our on bar update from IB, we get a bar data list. We then convert that to a pandas data frame object. And then we're able to easily access the open and close prices. So I check the current open price, which is data frame dot open to ILLC negative one, which is the most recent element is greater than the last close, um, which would be uh, negative two, which is one element ago. And then if that's the case, then we create our stock contract 
object, which is just the SPY, the S&P 500 ETF. And we do a market order with a quantity of one in our account and place the order. And once again, the counting code is all the same, just a little bit different because it's in Python versus C sharp. So there you have it, gap ups. One thing I wanted to kind of close out this video is that simple strategies can make money and don't harp on complex strategies uh, being the most profitable. You'll find that a lot of the simplest strategies do very well. And at the end of the day, you just need a lot of them. A lot of uncorrelated simple strategies will do you very well in the market. So once again, don't worry about if it's too simple. We saw in the stats earlier that, you know, they had decent win rates. Obviously 51% is a slight edge. It's not like a 70% win rate, but you could up the win rate with different exits. But with that being said, you know, simple strategies can do well and don't focus on complex strategies. So anyways, that's the video guys. I hope you found value in these gap up strategies and test them for yourself. Let me know how they do. And let me know in the comments uh, if you use any gap up strategies as well. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good one guys. Bye.